Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne 3. My name is DJ, and in the last video, this happened. And now, we're here, just as a recap, we're here in Rodrigo Branco's office. He's dead, as you saw in the last video. And now we're gonna find the people that killed, what killed him. So let's go. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Wow, the place is a, this place is a mess! Time to get out of here, Max. And the only thing I can do here is stumble. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Just keep going, Max. I can only press forward on this. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And You're grabbing us an invisible railing, Max. My paycheck was melting on top of my head. Up, uh, Max. You're through the floor, Max. What are you doing, Max? There we go. <laughs> Amusing. If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. Oh. Uh. oh, hello. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to oh, make damn this it. corpse loot and coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. Boosh! Give me that. Thank you. Right, not it. No one Poor guy. Be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Poor guy. Anyway, let's keep going on. Where's the other guy? Come on, get down. Press a, press a, press a leave me on a sliver of health. Press a, whoa! Ow! Well. Or not, not going that way. Cast Bronco was falling apart quite literally. Wish I had some painkillers. We made these a lot better. No. Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. Yep. I think he. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Hey, look, injured people. Injured people that I have to kill. There's one more dude hiding behind this wall. Two to the head. Double tap. Dead. Right, keep going, Max. Keep going. Don't worry, you're fine. You will be fine. Last bunch of guys who tried to kill me you might have had an idea. Yes. Okay. Uh, quick time events. No problem. Ooh, cracking from the heat. That's what glass does under intense heat. <laughs> Come on, get up, Max. Keep going. Keep go. Keep her going. Uh, am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trip would be a high wire act in the fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take a shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Who would want to burn to death? It sounds. It's painful. You're almost there, Max. Keep her going. There we go. Oops. Don't want to go back. Hey, look at the floor up ahead. Guess what's going to happen? That's going to happen. Ten points if you did, if you guessed correctly. Anyone? Anyone? Get up, Max. Oh, look. He's missing a leg. He's missing a leg, Jack. What shall we do to him? Give him a peg leg, he's your pirate. Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? 
Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill no, you. What? That's what you did to us. No, what? You so many of still. us. Why does the what reason did this poor really bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour. Good. I'd allow you to find the bike that was out of the house in the middle of the night. There's every chance that the rider is our killer. Came to kill me, but Rodrigo Branco ended up dead. Okay. Thank you, dude. Hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Maybe at least give this poor guy some help. Let the ambulance get to him. Maybe, just maybe, he'll still have a life. I was a mess. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was going to kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was going to die sober, not drunk. Whoops. Then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. No, don't shave the beard. Uh oh. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. But it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. My mother and Marlon probably were together a few minutes. Gonna take control, huh? Ah. Anyway, when I was six years old, he walked out on both of us. Both to Sandisha and uh Hello Victor. And Marcel. Hello, Victor. Thank you. I think it's Max, you're 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 alive? Of course I'm alive. Just a calibrate. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. I can't answer that. Our brother was everything to us. I don't know. I understand. I can tell. I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. Uh, but I was tricked. So what yeah, happened? Sort of I don't know. Some guys okay. from the crush of Prado. They were in the downstairs. Or maybe the security guard were dealing with them. An assassin must have committed an execution to your brother. Yeah. At least that's how I think it happened. Yeah. You killed the boy. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I understand you're upset. Please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is Fabiana? She's in the place where there's no one So the killer must have put the gun in Jacob's hand to make it look like suicide. This match escaped me. Please, bring our sister and all back to us. Our family is being torn apart. I'll try. Gosh darn, I'll try. A hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. Nova Esperanza Favela. 1 15 p.m. Monday. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fool the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. 
You know, you stick out, you stick out better. Uh, 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 you stick out worse than a sore thumb here, Max. With your loud Hawaiian shirt and a bald hair doing those shades. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had hmm. better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. <laughs> Propane canisters. He lost, kid. Speak English? Uh-huh, I'll speak English. I've never seen this girl. Fabiana, come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? Kid? I'm still packing, kid. At least I found myself a tour guide. <laughs> a tour guide that's like, what, 10 years old? And here I am. And we will resume in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will follow that 10-year-old kid. Until then, everybody.